Hello there, Oscar Carmona for Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery located in beautiful Santa Barbara, California, here to talk to you today about how to properly base pepper seeds. Now, I don't recommend that you plant pepper seeds directly into the garden because um, pepper seeds require more heat than most uh, vegetables or fruits that you might be wanting to germinate in your garden. And that means that you need a consistent warmth around 70s uh, consistently, upper 70s is good. So um, in this case, I recommend that you plant them into a container happen to, and I recommend that you soak those seeds first because that's going to allow the hard uh, uh, shell of the seed to sort of soften up and the, and the, the, the seed to sort of get uh, primed and wicked. So I'm going to take a few of my uh, uh, um, um, seeds that I've been soaking in, generally a minimum of uh, three hours if that's good or overnight is a good amount. Of course, it's a little hard to get them off my fingers. Um, but you can put three or four seeds in a um, section. And there's a, these are, this is a four pack, a recycled four pack. So I'm putting three or four seeds in each of the um, four cells. And that's a good spacing because ultimately we're gonna transplant these plants out and give them the proper spacing for their maturity, their mature growth. And it's generally between 14 and 24 inches. So I've got now uh, a sufficient amount and I can do multiple um, containers with seeds and um, there that one is there got that okay uh, so I don't have to try to plant uh, 50 seeds in here I could do maybe three or four or four packs if I wanted to and kind of share that spread that out then I want to cover these uh, seeds with just a little bit of soil not much certainly no more than a quarter inch. It's one of the things that can go wrong with germinating is you plant them too deeply. And too deeply could be anything more than a half an inch, quarter inch, this could be too, too deep. Give them a little bit of water. Uh, don't inundate, make sure that that water comes out nice and easy so that the water doesn't, uh, the soil doesn't uh, wash away. Uh, you wanna see the water coming out through the bottom. Then um, I want to take a recycled plastic bag or a piece of thin uh, co uh, sheeted plastic. And, uh, and a bag is great because you can put the container in here and literally cr can uh, create a little mini greenhouse. I'm going to take this and put this on top of my uh, water heater. And I'm going to check the water. I'm going to check this container every day or every other day to make sure that it's not drying out and uh, and in about maybe 14 days, 16 days, up to three weeks, I'll start to see little plants emerging. And because it's a container, I know that I, uh, whatever's coming up is, is most likely what I planted. Um, and that's basically it. I sure hope you found this information useful. I'm Oscar Carmona for Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery. I enjoyed sharing you inf with you information on how to properly space pepper seeds. Um, remember, feed the soil and let the plants feed you. Have a wonderful day.